Hello everyone and welcome back to Diablo Hellfire. Yes, we have destroyed the Lord of Terror as well as many other denizens of the dungeon, but there's more. Uh, I mentioned at one point a command.txt file, something that uh, enabled extra characters as well as some other interesting things. This is that right here. Uh, and I figured I would just kind of show you guys what that's about in a bonus episode of Boater Plays Diablo Hellfire. I'm Boater, let's play something. Alright, we're playing Notepad. So we, this has six different things in it. Cow Quest. Theo Quest. Two additional quests, one of which takes place of a regular uh, Hellfire quest. Bard test and Barbarian test enable those two extra uh, characters that we talked about. And then Multi test enables multiplayer, but you also need an additional file to do it, and it's not over battle.net, so why even bother? It's like direct IPX, which isn't even a thing anymore. Ugh. And nest art, which I suppose changes the color palette of the nest a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I notice it as we're going. If not, I will at least show a side by side. So, without any further ado, let's open up Hellfire. Okay. And we're going to start game. I may need to resynchronize. Not quite sure. Hold on. There we go. Okay, now all the time Loki was there, Jasmine, I just ended up re-importing, making sure I had everything. I went over to my Diablo game save and picked up everything that was off the ground in Tristram so that I could import it into Hellfire. Pretty much, you take the character, you copy it over to your Hellfire directory, and change uh, SV for save to HSV for Hellfire save. Um, that Hellfire directory is also where that command.txt file goes. That's all it is, it's just those six things. So, Jasmine, she's uh, killed Diablo once, picked up everything off the ground, decent amount of equipment, a ton of gold. So, let's use her, let's bring a rogue into Tristram, and oh my god, she's naked. By importing a Diablo save into Hellfire, you have no equipment. So, I'm just gonna, like, buy some basics here. Oh, Poisoned Water Quest. Well, what can I do for you? What do we got? Bow of Shock? Sure. Bow of Precision. Can you give me, like, better stuff, though? What do we got? Indestructible Mail of the Ages. That's nice. I might just go for that. Amulet of Precision. I'm down. Um, I'm always a fan of lightning arrows. Those always look cool, even though this is a, a smallish bow. Whoops. I don't know if my inventory. Too much gold. <laughs> this is all the gold carried over in 5,000 stacks. It'll be nice when I get the Auric Amulet and uh, can consolidate this down a little bit. Wow, what can I do for you? Bow of Shock. Uh, let's get some armor. All that armor. Let's get a ring as long as we're here. Do you have a helm? No helm? That's fine. I'll just go down like that. Anyway. So we... Oh. Required... Uh, oh. Oh. I also had a lot of <laughs> rings and stuff that raised my stats significantly. Um, required 60 strength. And I'm, I'm at my character's cap of 55. Uh, what can I do for you? My basic, I guess. Oh, it was red, wasn't it? <laughs> the crap I don't pay attention to. Yeah, it was probably red like that. We'll just go with the male of the ages then. Looks like dope. It not doesn't look dope. Looks dopey. But hey, I like the look of medium armor on the rogue. So. Whoa, what can I do for you? Sell the blessed plate. Obviously, I don't have anything to repair because it's all brand new. And I don't have a whole lot of gold left. Um, Ogden. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. Changed. Um, that says poison water, right? What is he gonna... you, my no. friend? Okay. Cool. So let's look at some of this uh, new stuff for Diablo Hellfire. 
Now, Lester the Farmer, you may remember, remember him. He's the one that gave us the Rune Bomb to open up uh, the nest down here. Um, and he unlocks after you finish level 8, or when you hit a certain character level, I think 25. I'm level 26, so let's see what... Oh my. Lester the Farmer is not here. We can bother cows, or we can go to the complete nut. No. Who likewise moves. I said no. Now I don't know what he says. Look, I'm you know. just a cow, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't know off the top of my head what he says if you're not at sufficient level, but I am, so Alright, alright, I'm not really a cow. I don't normally go around like this, but I was sitting at home minding my own business, and all of a sudden these bugs and vines and bulbs and stuff started coming out of the floor. It was horrible. If only I had something normal to wear. It wouldn't be so bad. Hey, could you go back to my place and get my suit for me? The brown one, not the gray one. That's for evening wear. I do it myself, but I don't want anyone seeing me like this. Here, take this. You might need it to kill those things that have overgrown everything. You can't miss my house. It's just south of the fork in the river. You know, the one with the overgrown vegetable garden. <laughs> Oh, that voice acting sells it. Uh, and additionally, there's another quest, and I don't know if it'll show up quite yet. No, not yet. So we've got the complete nut instead is the one who gave us the bomb for uh, the hive. Boom. Down to the hive. Let me uh, throw some gold up here, and then... We'll continue on. Now, if I'm doing regular Diablo levels, they would, um, I would have to start again at the first spot, at, at level one. Ah. Um, because the, the, um, the catacombs, I don't think, are open. They don't open for, in multiplayer, they'll open for you by character. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Catacombs are open. Now, now, I'm, now I'm curious. Hell is open. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Anyway, all of the new stuff that we're showing you is... Um, I just realized I didn't show Barbarian or Bard. Uh, well, there's nothing much to show. I mean, I'm not going to play a game with them uh, for you to really get what's in there. Again, Bard has the uh, Rogue skin and Bar Barbarian has the Warrior one. But anyway, I... I'd say screw it, I want to play uh, ranged. So, here we go into the nest. See if we can notice this different art. We have uh, long greener. Okay. Dormant. I don't care. <laughs> go away, Defiler. Okay, it's this greenish thing. Kind of kind of down for that. Oh, what are you? Are you are you ranged? Screw you. And you're dead. Like one hit and you're dead. Starting off with an elixir of vitality. I like it. Also works as the, uh... Okay, so we're looking for... The Jersey's Jersey. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm I think I think we're looking for the brown suit, right? Gray was evening wear? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Oh, okay. Um... Trapped small chest. The rogue's special ability is being able to disarm traps. Um, let me actually get my spells set. Bone spirit, sure, why not? I'm a dumbass and didn't even try to disarm it. Maybe I should arm the thing next time. Anyway, to detect... Hey, there's a trap here. See how much easier this is with ranged. I'm not chasing them all over the place. Like I'll clear this, and I could clear probably the hive in the half hour that I'm uh, that I'm giving myself for these videos. Downside is that uh, with the trap disarm, I don't have search as a skill, and I and obviously I don't have it as a spell because this was not originally a Hellfire character. So search being a new spell for Hellfire, I should be a little careful. I don't actually have any health potions. 
or mana potions to replenish my mana when I use the healing spell. Um, anyway, I don't have the search spell because it's Hellfire only. Um, so yeah, I might miss things. I'm just going to be doing a lot more of this kind of... Alright, is there anything? Is there anything? Is there anything? Nope. Okay, moving on. Trap chest. Let's save, and, uh, did I bring a Skull of Town portal? No, of course I didn't. No Skull of Town portal, no healing potions. Yellow mode. You know what? Let me, um, skip the bravado and actually go get some health potions. I think that would be wise. Well, what can I do for you? Bows do not use ammo, uh, however, um, they're like a weapon in that their durability decreases, so their arrows are basically durability going down. Notice that although it is easier for me to shoot at things, um, I am taking more damage because, well, first off, I don't have any resistances because I don't have the items for it, gur and such. So I do have to be a little more careful. Um, I don't have the hit points for it either. I'm not a melee class. I'm not meant to just wade into combat. I'm doing it anyway, but I'm not meant to. I, I kind of shouldn't be. Okay, this looks like level clear. In, what, 10 minutes? Maybe 15? Moving on. Can I... Can I move on? Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't grab any TP skulls. Let me do that. Now that I'm on level 1, the, the that other quest might show up too. So I'm going to go, I'm going to grab some TP skulls. Celia. I lost Theo. I lost my best friend. We were playing over by the river, and Theo said he wanted to go look at the big green thing. I said we shouldn't, but we snuck over there. And then suddenly a bug came out. We ran away, but Theo fell down, and the bug grabbed him and took him away. Did you find him? You gotta find Theodo, please. He's just little. He can't take care of himself. Please. So, something has I Theodore. Sense a soul in search of answers. So, that would be the Theo quest that we saw in that command.txt as well. Um, obviously, we're not looking at Bard and Barbarian. Uh, we're seeing Nest Art right here. We've got those two quests, and then uh, Multiplayer, obviously, I'm not doing right here. So, basically, I'm showing you the Cal quest and the Theo quest, both of which we've now gotten. Um, little girl and the Jersey's Jersey. Whoa, buddy! Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Why I can't get into the thing. I want to get around the corner. There we go. And right, I can shoot at them as they come around the corner. If they can figure out corners. Oh god, they f the ha. Clever girl. Killed a couple of them with stray arrows over this way. And over that way and over here. Uh the upside to a rogue. Uh the downside being that you could kill something over there and it could drop the best thing, but you may not realize it because you weren't there when it dropped. So there is that minor trade-off. Here's the scroll of town portal. And mana. Awesome. I guess it didn't need to go up. Down to level 3. I feel like I should have seen one of the suits by now. Yeah, 
and I've played this before, but not to the point of, you know, I haven't played the Hellfire quests, especially these additional ones, to the point of memorizing where every single thing is. You know, locked on, and I know that his helmet is on level 14 below him. Or, no, it's on level 15 when you find him on 14. I don't know where the complete nuts suits are. Anyway, down to level 3. You sit over there. These lands shall be defiled! Yeah, 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 I've heard it before. Down to level 4! Alright. Uh, now let's look around here first, see what we can find. Might also find uh, Theo, not sure. There is a possibility that um, Theo is in the crypt. I don't know. You mentioned a big bug. That could be the Defiler. It could be the Horse Demon that's over here. I don't know. Um, it would kind of make sense if it was the crypt because we've already got this cow quest in the hive or nest or whatever you want to call it. I like a character experience enough to just pluck one arrow and up, off you go. The way that experience curves work out, you don't even get experience for level for monsters that are too low below your level. So this gives the character good enough to not get experience for like fallen ones and zombies in level one, which is so it's nice that it opens up. Uh, the additional stuff, level 2, 3, whatever. Of course, um, Nightmare and Hell difficulty levels do affect that as well. Um, I decided not to go with those on this playthrough. Just, again, we're, the idea is to show you the extra quests. Damn it! You suck at disarming traps. Like, seriously, you haven't successfully disabled a single trap for these good people. Try again! <laughs> it was an arrow! It wasn't even anything magical! Ooh, more splint mail. Oh, Jesus. There it goes, downgrading one of my things because it was trapped, and I didn't even try to untrap it, so it downgraded one of my... Okay, do you have Theo? And you died already. Theodore! Oh. Go away, I'm looking at the teddy bear. Yay, Theodore! This dungeon has given me a lot of chances to disarm traps, and I'm not taking advantage of any of them. Still looking for the brown suit. Okay, there should be a suit on this level somewhere that I totally missed. Oh, uh, uh, come on. There's a cloak. Magical cloak, okay, not what I'm looking for, but okay. Gray suit! Oh, that's not the I one where... No room. Oh, that was funky looking. I'm almost kind of glad that that happened. Um, what's that up over there? Gray suit. Okay! Let's get stuff ID'd really quick, and then... Uh, See what goes about with these quests. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ooh, resist all and a plus to magic. For that ring, yes please. Everything else can get sold. Well, what can I do for you? As long as you don't try to sell the gray suit or Theodore. Oh, could you imagine? 
Hi, little girl. I sold your bear. No, 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 no! This is my gray suit. It's for evening wear. Formal occasions. I can't wear this. What are you, some kind of weirdo? I need the brown suit. Alright, he gives it to him anyway. It's out of my inventory. <laughs> well, you could be a little more grateful, like this girl will be, I think. You found him! You found him! Thank you. Oh, Theo, did those nasty bugs scare you? Hey! Ugh! There's something Ugh. stuck in your fur. Aww. Ick! Come on, Theo, let's go home. Thanks again, hero person. I have to imagine that was an actually like a kid that was recording that too. That that turned into adorable pretty quick. Yay! Someone's happy we were there. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Plus 22 to magic. All right. That would that would be a library item even though my other library items and my three books of telekinesis did not transfer over with me. Yes, I said three books of telekinesis. Alright. So let's go see if we can find the brown suit. While we're at it, we'll kill the defiler. That was weird. I wasn't expecting Theo. Yeah, okay, yeah. Theo was in the Hork Demon. Okay. I'll be honest. I thought Nakruel had him. Looking, we may as well kill the defiler while we're down here. Oh, I should have gotten more health. How many more? Ah! Screw you. Screw you, I said. I'm actually, how many more skulls of TP do I have? Three? Yeah, I'm gonna go up and get more health potions. <laughs> this is a little... Oh, what, are, what is all these scrolls? Flash? Don't care. Manage? Don't care. Keep that. Oh, no. Keep that. Keep that. I don't even care about those. What ails you, my friend? I, I, I don't... I'm not doing this for the money. Just get rid of these. I don't even care. I want to sell them later. I'll grab them. In the meantime, pep and do some reading. Make you a more well-rounded individual. Kind of nice to not hit the defiler right out of the gate. Especially since I will have to back away quickly as a uh, squishier class. And so I've got space to retreat to, as evidenced by all this retreat space. Hey, slow down a little bit. Hey, there we go. Uh huh. <laughs> I think that's meant to be, uh huh, look at this map. That's very interesting. But, I hunger. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, buddy, let me know how that works out for you. All right, we're looking for the brown suit. Oh my god, it's Scroll of Apocalypse. I No, there's no way I could use that. It requires like a hundred something, and my magic is not a hundred something. Fuck off. You and your shooting from off screen. Go kill some stuff for me, buddy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I didn't even need to use the bone spirit thing. Brown suit! Just 
just gonna kill things to get them out of my face, and then I'm heading on up. Ah! All right, on up we. Oh. Yay! All right, found the guy's brown suit. Oh, you could hear the golem break off the side there. All right. <sighs> That's much better. <sighs> At last, some dignity. Are my antlers on straight? Good. Look, thanks a lot for helping me out. Here, take this as a gift. And, you know, a little fashion tip? You could use a little... You could use a new... You know what I mean? The whole adventurer motif? It's just so retro. Just a word of advice, eh? Ciao. Bovine plate. Aw, oh, yeah. Armor 150, indestructible. Mo. 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 <laughs> Okay, now I'm pretty sure that it just shows up as heavy armor if I put it on, but we're gonna find out. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Spells are decreased two levels, plus 50% light radius, resist all, and minus mana. Yeah, this is heavy armor on a rogue. Looks a little silly, but man, that armor. Oh, I don't know if I ever mentioned it while we were in here. I think by the time I finally realized it, I had already finished recording. The reason why Arcane's Valor was giving me so much armor is that the monk gets bonuses for lighter armor classes. Uh, for being able to be more agile. So, the medium armor of Arcane's Valor was giving me a lot better armor class than the heavy armors that we were comparing it to. So, that was that. Anyway, here... Wow... That armor class. Yeah, bovine plate. Why the hell not? Like it matters anyway, that's pretty Whoa, much of this episode. Uh, yeah. So that was the cow quest and the Theo quest. The Jersey's Jersey and the little girl. Um, they're neat little additions to Hellfire. I'm guessing the Cleo quest was cut because the, the kids voice acting for it was just too darn adorable and just didn't fit. And if the Hellfire's designer, well, Hellfire designers felt that something didn't fit thematically, you know something's up. And then the cow quest, I have to imagine, was just a gag. Even going back then, there was jokes about a secret cow level. Which, of course, were then later realized in later versions of the game, but the rumors started here, so I think they kind of riffed on that. I'd like to think so, anyway. So, yeah, that has been Diablo Hellfire, and this is... Seriously now, the last episode. Thank you very much for watching this series. You can watch the entire playlist uh, linked down below. Um, or maybe just in this whole quest window I've been using down here. So you can watch that um, from the beginning. Uh, stay tuned for the next Butter Plays Something series, uh, which will be Lollipop Chainsaw uh, on Tuesdays from here on out. Uh, subscribe down below to get all those as they come out. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter.com slash Boaterbug and support me on Patreon.com slash Boaterbug. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm free! Free to confront the one who banished me to the boy, Diablo! Hi, everybody, and I'm free to reward you, little mortal, with these Aerosmith tickets. You'll be getting backstage passes. You'll get to meet Steven Tyler and the whole band this Friday at the Coliseum. Thanks for getting me out of there. By the way, I'm gonna have to kill you. I'll be right back with the trafficking weather together.